everyone, I'm Auntie M, and are you ready to tell time? Are you ready to laugh and play, learn new things every day? Let Auntie M show you the way. Thanks for being here today. We are going to learn all about how to tell time. Time is so important, and it can help us with so many things, like when to know when to go to bed or wake up, when it's the weekend, or even when it's summertime instead of wintertime. Are you ready to tell time? Let's go! Your clock at home might look like this one or this one. This is an analog clock and this is a digital clock. These clocks look different and you read them differently, but they give you the same information. And I'll tell you how to read both of them but first, I have to tell you some rules about time so that you can understand. We count time in seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, and years. And they all build on top of each other. I'll show you. First, there's 60 seconds in one minute. Then, there's 60 minutes in one hour. Then, there's 24 hours in one day. Do you wanna to try to tell time on an analog clock? Let's go! On an analog clock, there are three hands. Yeah, just like yours. There's a small one, a medium one, and a long one. The small hand is gonna tell us the hour. And the medium hand is gonna tell us the minutes. And the long one is gonna tell us the seconds and it goes really quickly. This is an analog clock. Do you see the marks in between the numbers? Those are called minutes. Those are tiny steps the big hand has to take all the way around the clock. That will make an hour. There are a lot of them, so the clock knows exactly when things are happening. There are also numbers on this clock, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Those numbers are for the shorthand. Those are our hour numbers. But when we're talking about minutes, those are our five minute marks. So one means five minutes, two means ten, three means fifteen, four means twenty, five means twenty five. 6 means 30 or half an hour has passed since the top of the hour. 7 means 35. 8 means 40. 9 means 45. 10 means 50. And 11 means 55. On this clock, the shorthand is pointing to the 5. And the medium hand is pointing to the 5 minute mark. This clock is telling us it is... 505. That's how you'd read it. Do you want to try another one? Great. Okay. This clock is saying, okay, the shorthand is at the 10 and the medium hand is at the 12. But we don't say 10, 12. We say it's 10 o'clock, that's right. On digital clocks, you read hours, minutes, and seconds. But most clocks don't show the seconds, so we really only read the hours and the minutes. And this clock is telling us it's seven o'clock. You say the hours first, and then the minutes after. So it's seven, zero, zero, which means there's no minutes. That makes it seven o'clock. Do you want to try another one? Okay. This one is, this number is the number six. And this one is the number 10. So it's six, 10. That's right. Great job. Boy, there's a lot of ways to tell time. But let's practice the easy stuff first, and then we'll build from there. Remember, there's 60 seconds in a minute, there's 60 minutes in an hour, there's 24 hours in a day, seven days in a week, 
12 months of the year, and then as many years as you can count. I had so much fun learning how to tell time with you. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you had fun too, let me know by pressing like, subscribe, or ring the bell. And of course, if you saw something that I didn't, always put it in the comments, because I love to learn with you. Okay, I'm Auntie M. That's A-U-N-T-Y.